this is what I have so far. It is a work in process. I didn't know what I was going to do when the doctors told me I couldn't go back to the courts and work. And I was working on a case at the time. I picked these up right here. What you're looking at with this plants climbing on, I picked these up for like maybe six bucks at the Dollar General. This is a little tree that we thought we'd lost when the frost had hit. And this other trellis right here, I'm going to be getting some more of them. They're portable and I can take them with me. So when I put them in the planter. So I'm on the hunt right now for some planters. And I'm also looking for some um, other things too. But the planters, I'm going to look for wheels on them. So when we do leave from here, I'll have them. This little guy right in the corner here on the very end, the littlest one, we thought we'd lost it. I said, forget it, and I just put it in there. And before I knew it, she was starting to grow again. This right here is a tomatillo, but it looks like something's been munching on it. I'm not sure what. Those are my try <laughs> at trying to grow onions. I'm not too sure how they're going to come out. I'm a, I'm a law worker. I, I work with the court systems and work with cases. I'm not normally somebody that is a... I'm not from a farming background, so I really am not sure of how they're going to come out. I'm just trying my hand at them. And I've had a couple of herbs over here that died on me. One of them was the... Um, it was a pickling herb, dill, and then there was another one. I forget what it was called, but it's gone on me too. And I think I've got some lambs there growing over there too. So I got to do that, redo that one planter. This one right here needs to be redone, and that water is from the rain. So I'm going to put it in containers. That planter right there, I need to redo that one. But so considering how long we've been in North Carolina and as many farmers as there is here, you know, I'm surprised that there's not more people here. This is a farming, you know, farming area. And I'm surprised that there's not more people that do this here. Now in Oregon, everybody's got a garden of some kind or another. And in California, people strive to have gardens. At least the ones that I knew did. I also knew somebody when I was in high school in California, and the friend of mine went to classes to learn how to grow things, and her dad was blind, and she basically had the garden to take care of, and she was in my ROTC class. The tree looks like it's turning green. We've left, lost all the, the prettiness of it, and that's our famous tree in the middle there. Looks like the bird feeder fell off, and this is what the outside looks like now. So, I've taught Larry what I know about photography, so I can't teach him any more than I've already learned myself, and I still have to learn these, this new stuff with these new cameras that have come out, and now I don't have to get into those developing chemicals anymore. This one looks like it's starting to flower. I'm not sure what that is. And then we've got some plants over here, and I don't know what they are. Looks like the deer left me a gift. Um, right in here, and this is a mountain part of where we live right now, and we're looking for a retro RV to get moved out of here because being from a law family, now I understand why my family tends to be a little overprotective of me. There's all kinds of crazy people out there, and they want to accuse you of everything under the sun so they can feel good about themselves. And I'm not too keen about that. So, I'm just giving you an outlook of what it looks like out here right now. we got all kinds of vegetation, but I'm not sure what. And no, I'm not going up there with these kind of shoes on, because you don't know what's in there. We've had everything from birds to... To snakes around here, to um, brown snakes too. We've killed a few snakes as well. And we've also had one sneak in our house. Luckily it was caught. But this is our place right here. You see the one with all the planters out the front. 
that's our place. Some of my kids are keen to doing the ranch. They said they wanted to do a farm, and I said, how about if we do a ranch and basically have it to where family can go there. That mailbox over there is goes to all these buildings, and the building next to it, that's the closest to it, that's the uh, main building here. That's where the activities are supposed to be, but there's no counting on that anymore. And that little blue car that you see over there, that's my car. It's my Saturn. And it's basically the best car out of all the cars I've owned. That is the best car I have ever owned. But this is basically what we're looking at here. And we also have a unit like this on the back, and it's an air cooling conditioner, or an air care cooling unit. This is a roofing that we've got right here. And this is the building that we've been living in since 2014. And we've been in this area since we got here in 2013. We arrived by Amtrak about 2.30 in the morning, 1.30, 2.30 in the morning, and came straight to this address. And we stayed with his family members until we got a place, but there's some gossip going around about us moving from Eden here. Uh, that didn't happen, and then we found out what the woman's name was that I was being mistaken for. And she's got a tainted background just like my cousin Marie does. She, she has a tainted background just like Marie. I can't say I appreciate that because I've been receiving a lot of abuse because of it. A lot of threats and everything else. So, um, this Cajun does not, I mean, they're right, I don't fit here. Because I work for the, the court system. I work for the law, you know, and I work on cases. And Larry's family has been trying to give me a background and a history and a reputation that doesn't belong to me at all. And an, an identity that doesn't belong to me. So, not being hateful or anything, but I can't say I miss my stepfather. The one that was married to my adopted mother. He started all this mess back in 82 when I was 21, going on 22. So, it's been following me since, 80, since 82. And it's a long time. It's, it needs to die, basically. This whole thing needs to just blow up and just go away. So I'm looking forward to when we can get the retro RV. I'm looking forward to my ranch land. So I'm, and that's going to basically, I'm working with my family on trying to get some things taken care of. So, and a new, an update on the woman that stole my identity. She is no longer allowed to live in the community because she has been classified as dangerous. So I'll bring you another update another time. I'm signing off. Be blessed. Shalom.